Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Steve Nash runner. This is one of my favorite moves um, for guards because it's utilized like a floater, but I feel like it, there's more control and it can be shot at a higher percentage when you master it. Now, a lot of players aren't practicing this because nobody really does this in the game today. And even Steve Nash is really the only person I've ever seen do it. But he was so good at it and it was so effective. I'm shocked that most people, most guards don't try to do this. But basically what you're doing here is it's a runner. So it's like, you know how you do a one leg or one arm runner, like a floater type of thing. So it's considered a runner, but it's not just one hand. It's like a runner, but he's shooting. And basically by having your leg here and kind of kicking your leg out here, it allows you to really stay on balance. So how this works is usually if I beat my defender, now I'm in the lane. Now, of course, I have the option of doing a jump stop floater, a runner, or you can do this sort of Steve Nash runner which I would say probably is the most comfortable, like I said, when you master it, because you're still shooting a shot where the runner and the floaters are completely different shots. So yes, they're super effective if you master them. Guys like Trey Young, John ja Morant, like they've mastered floaters and they're probably better off shooting the floater. So if you've mastered the floater, you might wanna go with that, but it's always good to have another you know, weapon in your arsenal. But even then, you might find that you like this move better. So again, what you would do here is you would take off, but you would still shoot your regular shot just off one leg. So you can see how it's much easier to have control. So let me show you an example of it. So if I'm here, I'm going. It's that simple. Quick little pull up. You hit the shot before the defense comes. Now the best part of this move is the control. Also, it's really good. You can go both directions. So I can go right, pull up still, hit the shot. And one unique thing I like about this move is you, you can also do it off your opposite, well, the opposite foot. Um, so what's comfortable for me as a right-handed shooter is the left foot. But you can also do this off the right foot and still shoot a high percentage shot. How many players do you know that can shoot uh, an effective offhand floater or runner? Not many. Like, I wouldn't even feel comfortable <laughs> taking that shot, honestly, if I could choose something else. So if I got in the lane here and I took off my right foot from here, would I rather shoot a runner with my left hand or just <laughs> shoot a runner like my regular shooting form? I would take that second option every time. So that's another great thing about this move. You can pretty much do it pretty comfortably off of either foot. Again, total control. Those felt super smooth, super easy for me versus an offhand floater. Like that's very difficult, even if you're good with your offhand. Um, so that's a simple move that I would definitely recommend adding to your game and then to start adding it in in all different areas. So you could practice, you know, coming from the wing, boom, get in the lane, defense drops, you can hit that shot. You can see how much more secure, how much more safe that shot is than coming here, boom, boom. I'm either shooting this left hand floater or I have to whip my whole body around and then shoot a right hand floater. So sometimes floaters can be difficult. And like when I was in high school, my coach used to hate when I shot floaters. So I used to have to use this move, which he liked it much more than a floater. I would say floaters are much more accepted nowadays because the great guards are very good at them and they use them very effectively. But that's not to say that they're technically better than this shot right here, if you take the time to master this shot. So if you take as much time to master this as you would mastering a floater, why not have both in your game? It can really help you. Steve Nash had both in his game 
and it made him very difficult to guard. If you're looking to take your skills to the next level, click the first link I have pinned in the comments for you and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video.